I'm Terix, um, also known as the Young Entangler in Tiny Rabbit Hole. That's because you know, during class, you know, sometimes students accidentally uh, tangle their yarn. Then I always step in to help out, help them untangle. So I'm Angie and um, I actually design crochet patterns and write the patterns out. Then I also teach uh, students how to read them, how to make them, how to like, find out what's wrong with them. The Tiny Rabbit Hole started when I was imagining that I fell into like somewhere in the garden, then there is a hole. I went down and from there I actually see like many imaginary characters, like things that you couldn't believe. Yeah, the not so interesting one was that because rabbithole.com was taken, so I wanted to get a tiny in front there to make it different. <laughs> I have this one, this rainbow unicorn, which, which was created due to a custom order, but the person is a scammer. She didn't appear. This the other uni chan. Actually, a lot of people said that they want to have like a sit-down version and then we did have a few other sit sitting-down versions but um, because um, Teritz found a very nice yarn from uh, Spain, it can make something really big. So I thought maybe I want to make something that can sit down and speak enough for you to hug. So therefore, I recreated Unicha into this version and it became our hot seller. We have a customer who is a guy. First, he has never crocheted before and he told all the office girls that he's going to make a unicorn. Obviously, the office girls didn't take him seriously, but in months to come, he completed it and he proved to all the office girls that they are wrong. Crochet is not common in Singapore or in Southeast Asia, but if you go to um, maybe the Western countries, it is completely normal. You can see guys with huge muscle, tattoo, motorbike, mohawk, making cute little I mean, groomies. I didn't believe it until they turned out in the shop. Yeah, and they were squealing when they see all the yarns yeah, and yeah. all the characters over here yeah, yeah. with the meat muscle and tattoos. It, it is completely normal and a long time ago, um, it's the guys in Japan, the samurais, who do all the knitting and crochet. That is because they have to fix their garments who are, who is damaged, uh, who are damaged during the battle. And then eventually, the girls pick, pick it up from the guys. I crocheted a bag and the bag was made when I was 10 years old. So that was 20 years ago. I purchased like more than hundred dollars of it, yeah. Because I have to purchase ten balls of yarn, one crochet hook, and a hook actually lasted me for until now. It has not broken down yet. So, um, so she actually gave me really quality stuff, and um, it didn't disintegrate. So that's why I'm grateful for. My mom said, "No, don't do it." So what she was thinking of is that. Um, the generation now is that you want to, you have to work, earn the money every month, have a stable and income, and etc. Yeah. So she still think the same way, and therefore she felt that doing the business is quite risky. She didn't really support me. She just like, oh, okay, do. So sometimes I would teach her, then she would like also enjoy the process of doing it. But yeah, but she still tells me not to do it. Um, Tiny Rabbit Hole and Crochet right? is just like uh, coffee and music. If you don't drink coffee or you don't listen to music, you won't die. But life will be really boring.